So sorry, I'm from Florida. <laughs> so being from Florida means that I learned how to dance like that when I was 11. So, which was really helpful when I later parlayed into my future career of being a bottle service girl. You thought I was gonna say stripper because of Florida, but it was bottle service girl. <laughs> so I used to be a nanny by day and I'm bottle service girl by night, which is the same job. Because I'm just providing messy people with bottles, you know? Over the course of a shift, somebody vomits, somebody throws a fit, at least one person shits their pants, you know? And I wasn't the world's greatest bottle service girl because I wasn't willing to like dance and flirt for my money, which is just the two key components of being a bottle service girl. So this is what I look like as a bottle service girl. I was always over everybody's shit. So come up with your minion and be like. <laughs> Go get them their bottle. I bring them, I jazz it up for the bottle. <laughs> and pour them their drinks. You gotta like do it fancy for the limes. <laughs> Get their credit card. That's when you really, really sass it up. Take their credit because they're paying money. <laughs> Bring it back. They'd be like, "Is there twenty percent added?" I'd be like, "No." There was, but they're drunk, so I don't give a fuck. Sign that shit. That's a go-to move. That's called an excited body, serious face. It's this. <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on another move. This is a good one. Whenever my boyfriend and I are in a fight, and it's usually when I started this fucking fight. I started this fight, and we've gotten to a level of, of anger and yelling that there is just no getting out of. You know, and he's fucking over my shit. He's at that point where he's like, I can't deal with this shit anymore. I'm so sick of it. I do this. I just get naked. <laughs> because think about that. It's genius. Who the fuck is going to fight with you when you're naked? <laughs> right? Because he'll be like, this is the last fucking time. And I'll be like. <laughs> and he's like, I see your point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so when I was a kid, um, I lived for embarrassing my mom. Usually that's a parent's job to embarrass their child, but for me it was my job to embarrass the shit out of my mom. So she would take me clothing shopping and I would come out of the dressing room like this. <laughs> and she'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, mom, how do I know if these pants fit if I don't do them and they're my most natural movements? And she's like, nobody fucking moves that way. And I couldn't wait to become a mom. That's all I wanted. I wanted to fucking pass that torch to my kid so that she could torture me. And I did, I have a daughter. Thank you, oh my God. Thank you, I did all by myself, I grew up myself. Uh, I have a daughter. I'm the mom to an awesome three-year-old life terrorist. <laughs> it's hard being a mom nowadays because everybody has a fucking opinion. They're like, did you breastfeed? Didn't you breastfeed? Did you like co-sleep? All this shit. Shit, people care what color your kid's shit is at one point. <laughs> and people are like, Lindsay, you know what? You're a bad mom because you cuss a lot. And I'm like, what? First of all, fuck is a confetti word. You put it in your sentence to sparkle it up a little bit. <laughs> Cussing does not make me a bad mom. Filling a Coke can with whiskey and taking my kid to the park makes me a bad mom. <laughs> so I don't share with her. 
she's a mean fucking drug. So when I was a kid and my mom would come in and ask me and my sisters to, uh, to help out with things, we would all just pretend to be asleep. And it didn't matter what activity we were doing. Like my sister Megan would be like cooking. And my mom would come in and be like, Megan, can you help me? She's like, your fucking hair is on fire. I hope you know that. Kristen would be doing the dishes. She'd be like, Kristen, can you? She'd come in, she'd be like, I'd be in the shower. She'd be like, Lindsay, can you? She's like, I hope you fucking drown, you little shithead. All right, that's it. I'm Lindsay Godfrey. Have a good night.